This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hi, I'm Helene Woods, and this is Let's Quilt, episode number 31. Today we're going to start out by having Robin explain to us how she uh, goes about getting her background fabrics ready and placing her strips on the background fabric. Robin? Well, Helene, uh, first thing I do is lay all my strips out by fabric. And what we did in the last episode was we cut 13 and a half inch strips, nine and a half inch strips, and four and a half inch strips. So that's what you will see in this little stack here. Um, at that point, I, what I don't want to do is have two of the same fabrics in the same block. Right. Or have the same three fabrics in more than one block. That's right. So what I do is I take my background and I go to a fabric that I really like. So we'll take this because it's pretty and bright. And I'm going to lay it on here, just, this is not how we're going to sew it, but no, this is just for to, visual. Right. Okay, I lay this down, and then I'm going to pick my second fabric, and I'm going to lay it down, see how it looks, and then I'll go with the third one. Now, that I've taken great. one from, from a right. different stack, and right. that gives me then my three different fabrics. Right. So, so what you will want to have for each block is one 13 and a half inch strip, one nine and a half inch strip, and your last strip will be four and a half inch. And they should all be different fabrics. Robin, why don't you show us how we're going to start placing the strips on our background fabric? Okay. okay. Well, we're gonna start out with our longest strip, which is your 13 and a half inch strip, and we're gonna lay it face down, so we're right sides together on that line that we drew in the last episode. And that's going to make this line up and give us a perfect quarter inch seam here. Okay. So let me pin that for you, Helene, and then you can sew it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead now and sew a quarter of an inch seam on this to, to uh, connect it with our background fabric. So next we're going to go ahead and press our fabrics, but I did want to show you that Helene has used a, a contrasting thread here so that you can better see it with the camera, but you will want to use a coordinating thread or neutral thread. So we're just going to take our, our strip and first I'm going to set the seam and I'm just adding some pressure here and just setting it. And then we're going to fold our strip back and press until we get a nice crisp edge on that so that we have a nice block when we're done. So now we're going to go ahead and add our second strip which is our nine and a half inch strip and this time we're going to place it face down over our first strip matching raw edges and I hope you can see that we've matched the raw edge on this side and I'm going to pin that and Helene's going to sew it for us again. Okay, now we're going to press this strip down and once again I'm setting my seam and then we flip it over and press this one out. Now we're going to place our final strip and we're going to lay it face down once again matching raw edges and pin it. Okay, and we're ready and Helene would you sew the last seam for I'm me? I'm happy to. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and press our last strip and last time we'll set our seam and press our strip forward. Okay, now we're going to trim our block to size 
and I am faced it down, right side down on my cutting mat, it's a little easier to see to trim this way. And line up the edges with my ruler, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off these tails. Thank you. And I'll turn it a quarter of a turn. And once again, I'm going to trim off these tails. Now you're going to need to trim this so that exactly measures eight and a half inches square. And in order to do that, you can lay it on your mat and place your ruler at the eight and a half mark and trim that little piece up. Do a quarter turn and check it again, and if it's still a little bit oversized, go ahead and trim that. And there we have our eight and a half inch block ready to go. Okay, now uh, that we have completed this one block, you're going to go ahead and make a total of 16. So you need 15 more, just like this one. Okay, so now um, all 16 blocks have been created, and at this point, what my suggestion for you is to lay them all out, as you can see I've done here, and start arranging them in a pleasing manner. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is sew two pieces together to form part of our larger block. And what I do is just take one and just flip it over. Okay, it's very important to pin these two blocks together. Okay, and Helene's going to go ahead and sew our quarter inch seam for okay. us. Okay. okay, we have our quarter inch seam, and we're not going to press that right now. We'll wait for just a little bit. But what I do want you to do is to take your uh, two block segment and put it back where it was in perfect formation and go on to our next one. Now we're going to take our two block segments and sew them together into a row. So we're just going to pick up our two block segment and flip it over. And at this point we chose the second row because we'll need to do just a little bit of matching on this. And you'll want to make sure that your strip seams are matched up. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. You can okay, use that quarter inch seam again, and we're going to sew those together. Okay, now we have our, row, our four pieces sewn together into our row, and you're going to want to do that with the other three rows. Okay, as you can see, I've just uh, layered my rows together here so I can see them, so I can come in here and press each of my rows. Um, what I'd like to do is flip it over and just take a look for a minute. What I want on each row is these seams to be going all the same direction. And that is so that the seams will nest when we go to put them together. So we're going to go ahead and just press our seams to one side. Now the next row we're going to press in the opposite direction. And that should give us then two rows going in opposite directions. Okay, I've finished pressing all of the seams in our rows in their alternating directions, left, right, left, right. Now we're going to go ahead and sew two rows together, and to do that, we're going to go ahead and just flip one over the other. Our seams then should now nest because we did press them in opposite directions. And pin these rows together. And Helene can begin to sew our rows together. Okay, now we have our two rows sewn together, and we're going to go ahead and press those. And after I press those um, to one side, then we're going to go ahead and sew these two together. And once again, we're just going to flip one over the other and go ahead and line up our seams and nest them together. Okay, I thought maybe I would just show you a little tip. The center of our quilt top has all these pieces coming together and it'll be quite a knot. So here's a tip for you. We can go ahead and press that seam open and when we press it open it will relieve some of the thickness in this seam allowance and it be, won't be quite as big a knot. <clears throat> okay, so now we have our 
uh, two segments together. And our last thing we're going to do to finish the center of this is to flip this last piece over the top and match up and nest our seams here and our top will be then complete. Okay, so now we have our whole top sewn together and I just want to say once more because of all of the seams coming together here, I'm going to go ahead and just press this seam open instead of pressing it to one side. We finished piecing our top together and I think it turned out really nice, Robin. So do I. And so when we get together the next time, we're going to applique on our roses. So until next time.